Alright, I'm sick of all these stupid people giving mouse reviews. So let's think for a moment. What is the true issues any gamer cares about when playing? So first, let's say tracking. How fast can the mouse track before hitting malfunction speed? Malfunction speed can either indicate the mouse will not receive information past a max data info stream, as the 518, or the mouse will show negative Excel effect, which is because the data is coming in so quickly the distance input is decreased, like in the wheel mouse optical and 3.0. Then there is the failure speed. At this rate, it is unpredictable. It may start jumping in random directions or may not move at all. Next we have DPI, also known as CPI. DPI is currently the most well-known selling point in mice. But is it really as important as people think? In FPS games, as of now, no. I don't believe it is. Uh, we don't use high enough resolutions and the hand doesn't have enough dexterity to maximize the potential of high DPI. So if we use a resolution of 1024 by 768, we find that if your sensitivity is about 20 inches per 360, you need a DPI of 200 to not miss a pixel. Now if we do the same thing with a higher sensitivity, we do find an increased DPI is needed. So if you have 1024 by 768 with uh, 4 inches per 360, you need a DPI of about 1000. So let's jack it up and try to reach the DPIs that are being sold today as if we have a res of 2560 by 1600 and a sense of 4 inches per 360. The DPI needed is 2500, still not even close to the DPI of mice coming out with 5000. The average first person shooter competitive player uses a sensitivity of about 10 inches per 360. Now I'm not talking about you know the top players or the exceptions. Some people use a lot higher, some people use a lot lower, but this is an average based on a poll. Myself, I use a sensitivity of 19 inches to 360. I also use a resolution of 800 by 600. The next area I'd like to get into is called mouse correction, also known as mouse prediction. There was a review in Crunch Career, and he was testing a non-prediction mouse called the Akari, and he said, quote, I couldn't make it go in a straight line to save my life. He then went on to blame the sensor and saying that it was inaccurate and such, but it wasn't. It's just that he's used to prediction mice. Here is a comparison of a prediction mouse and a uh, non-prediction mouse. This is the death adder is the prediction mouse, and the non-prediction mouse is the wheel mouse optical. Most prediction mice tend to have a very good uh, tracking speed, like maximum failure speed and uh, max tracking speed. This kind of sucks because as you get more precision with non-prediction mice, you tend to get more speed with mice that have prediction. So, it's a trade-off. We have lift-off distance also. Um, with lift-off distance, you want it to be as low as possible. As soon as you lift it off your, your mouse pad, you want it to stop responding. This makes it so you can use low sensitivities and not have to worry about inaccuracies when lifting your mouse. Then we have weight. The top players in the world for Counter-Strike and other FPSs like very light mice. They help with precision, they help with accuracy, and they help with quickness. Finally, we have shape. Shape is dependent on a few factors. Some people are fingertip players and like smaller mice. Some people are palm players and like larger mice. Also, hand size, larger hands for larger mice, and so on. There's also left-handed players, which honestly I'm not going to get into. If you're a left-handed player, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to be stuck playing with a smaller mouse that you can play with, you know, with either hand. Oh, wait, there is one more thing. There is sensor position, which I honestly don't think is such a big deal. I would like my sensor to be in the exact center. But some people say that it messes with your accuracy. I'm not sure about this. I have not done enough testing. And that's pretty much everything. From now on, I'd like to see reviews that have this stuff in it so that we can tell what we're going to get before we buy it.